Okay, hey everybody, welcome back uh, to our next unboxing um, video. Today I'm excited to take a look at this uh, special instant noodle package, which I received this week as a sample from my um, food supplier at work, who supplies some of the Asian snacks for our school cafe. Now this, um, I don't think, I think it's kind of hard to get around here, I'm not sure, but apparently it's the... It's really popular in China. It's it's a, an instant vegetarian hot pot instant noodle, um, and I've never seen these before. And uh, I think the brand is Shaolong Kan, and um, they're they're not cheap, from what I know. Um, I got this one as a sample, so we're gonna check it out. Um, this is okay. Let's just let's just open it here. All right. So inside. We got some instructions in Chinese, excellent, because I don't know how to read. So I'll be looking at the pictures really carefully. It's basically, I gotta put some stuff in, put more stuff in, mix it with something, sit around, and then enjoy. So that's pretty clear. Don't even need to know Chinese. Um, inside we have a suspicious looking silver packet, which I'm assuming are all the hot pot ingredients. Like This is pretty big, like this is no, MSG packet. There's something going on in here. Could be a could be a creature or something. But and then we have oh we have plastic gloves. I'm not sure what this is for. Oh, it's not plastic gloves. It's a bag. Um, I don't know. Take it to go, or if you're gonna dye your hair with this the suit, maybe. Um, then we have some what looks like petrified dried noodles. Excellent. Oh, there we go. Sweet. And then we have some secret sauces. Um, this looks pretty spicy. This looks good. And then, okay, that's just like layer one. And then, check it out. Oh, I've probably eaten this or something. Oops. Yeah, that's not a hole. It's just chopsticks because that's always good. And then, check it out, ladies and gentlemen. This is. Um, a heating bag, yeah. Do not eat this. You'll die, or bad things will happen to you and your bum. Um, so apparently, I think you can just use regular water um, with this mixture, and it actually heats all these elements. You don't even need hot water or boiling water anymore. So that's excellent because you know when you're riding around a scooter or on your bicycle in Beijing, you don't always have hot water. So super convenient. So okay, wish me luck. I'm gonna follow these directions exactly and we'll see what happens. Okay, so we're ready to assemble our Shaolongkan instant hot pot. I've taken the small bowl out of the main one here as per the instructions. And the first step is to add all the, the base packs. So I don't know what this is, some kind of oil. Um, it could be 10W40. It looks pretty thin, so it might be 5W30 actually, but there's that, and then there's this funky pack, which doesn't have a tear tab, so minus points there. Uh, whatever this is, it looks pretty lethal. Not too pretty going in, but... Um, oily, all right. So if it's oil you want, then this is the pack for you. Come on. Yeah, oh, it smells kind of beefy. All right, and then this, uh, where's the tear tab? Here it is. Um, oh, got oil on my finger. Um, this space pack of, oh look, there's like, Lotus root and veggies. What else we got going on in here? I'll show you. Uh, it's a tofu slice. I don't know what this is. Chestnut? No. Your guess is as good as mine at this point. Um, but a whole lot of Asian looking things, which is promising, because you don't want to find any like Timbits in there or anything. Okay, so then all the um, base pack ingredients are in. Then it says to add room temperature water. So 
So that's what I'm going to do up to the line. I thought it might say boiling water, but no, it actually says room temperature water. Okay, so that's that. Um, and then it says remove the wrap of the heat pack, which is this. I use this on my back sometimes when after hockey. No, I'm just kidding. Probably the same kind of stuff. But this is the heat pack, which um, again reminds you not to be eaten in case you're tempted, because that would bring the heat. <clears throat> okay, uh, and then remove the heat pack and place it in a big bowl. Add cold water to the indicated line. I'm not sure what line that would be because there's a number of ridges, but hang on a sec. Let me try that. That goes in there. So it can't be that line, so it must be only this line. Okay. It just barely covers the heat pack. And I'll just make sure that's in there. Okay, hopefully I got the right line. I'm just going to do a bit more because I'm uncertain. Um, and then place the small bowl in the big bowl. Oh wait, what about the noodles? I forgot the noodles. Sorry guys, I know some of you watching me are freaking out about that. I apologize. Uh, so there's some... These are probably glass noodles or rubber bands. I'm going to hope it's the... Um, glass noodles. Man, it's getting crowded in here. Holy moly, see what's going on there? Can you hear that? Stuff's going on, guys. Okay, I'm getting a little scared. I'm just gonna put this in now. Oh my god. What the crazy is going on here? Might want to call the fire department just to stand by. Uh, put the lid on. Okay. This doesn't blow up. Okay, the lid's on. We are Shaolong Kaning right now. I feel some steam and air coming out of the blowhole. Pardon my language. Um, and it says, let it cook for 15 minutes. And uh, so we'll let it do that and I'll be back. Exciting, don't go anywhere kids. Okay, it's been 15 minutes and we're back and I'm gonna open it up. And see what kind of crazy this is going on here. <sighs> okay, there it is. I'm gonna use the Shaolong Khan chopsticks because it's probably designed to make it taste better with these. I've asked my wife to help me. Uh, there she is right there uh, to help me check it out. So it's pretty hot. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you guys can feel that, but yeah, it's pretty hot. It definitely is overflowing. Kind of smells. It smells kind of spicy. What do you think? Yeah, it smells really spicy. Actually, it smells like it's gonna kill me. Okay, maybe I edit that part out. <laughs> um, all right, so let's give it a whirl here. I don't know what this is. Looks like an onion. No, that's a piece of ginger you just ate. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> I just ate ginger. <laughs> <coughs> Ew. <laughs> so those things are ginger. It's not the way it's supposed to experience it. I'm just gonna try some noodles. Mmm. Noodle good. Man, is this stuff oily. Check this out. Ew. If you are on a cleanse or anything right now. This is not for you. This is probably not for you. Ooh, my tongue is burning. Oh. <coughs> it's good though. Yeah, it's real good. Oh, there's some serious pepper colorings in this. Oh, and that's probably not bad. Um, not good for you. Oh no, it's star anise. Oh, there is star anise. That's a French restaurant. Star like anise, 12. like yikes, like Ooh. nobody's business. This has definitely got some kick. 
Dude, I'm out, man. I'm sick. And I'm Not also, because of this, though. She was sick before. I am allergic to chilies, and we don't know what the mystery ingredients oh, are. Oh, yeah, you should probably go. So, what I mean, it's gonna kill me. I mean, you've just witnessed. Here's the alibi, guys. If I don't make it, he was trying to kill me. All right, well, that's the last time we have her on the show. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure what to tell you, because I'm not a food expert. I just do these for fun. Um, this is pretty impressive for instant and just room temperature water. I can't really talk right now because my tongue is burning. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Now let me just explain um, from a cooking standpoint. There's definitely star anise in here, but usually you do very minimal star anise because it does this thing to your tongue tip of your tongue and the spice here I think it's very um, Sichuan all of Sichuan food looks like this it has a layer of oil up top that's like a bright color and then your flavoring is just whatever's underneath so I feel like it's definitely of that area and if you're into that this is uh, this is for you but we're a little wimpy in the spice department, and so... Yeah, I mean, sometimes on Taco Tuesdays, I'll get, like, like spicy instead of mild. But that's when I'm kind of... That's Living when I, on the edge. Yeah, that's when it's crazy. But this <laughs> stuff is definitely more than Taco Tuesday. Well, it's a different kind of spice because it's peppercorns, and, like, whole peppercorns are in here, not, like, just a little bit, and star anise, so it's, like... It tackles parts of your tongue that are not, that really numb your taste yeah, buds. That's what I'm feeling now. You right? Yeah. You get it? So that's what that is. There's bamboo there that you like. You but might this, enjoy that. For a vegetarian instant hot pot, there's a lot going on in here. Pretty sure no one's going home hungry or with their tongue with full feeling. Anyway, so hope you enjoyed that. That's, uh, I can't remember what it's called. Um, we have to go drink a lot of water now. Till next time.